So you had Wilder. So Wilder was only the third fight, not the fourth. No, so the agreement was four warm-up fights, yeah. and then um, even going into the Pionetta fight, it was like talk to this because Wilder come to the fight. There was talking this Wilder fight. I openly said, you know, I think, you know, not that he couldn't win it, but you was really diminishing the percentages, like making it more narrow than it needed to be. Why would Wilder take that fight? He thought it's a name. I blow this fella away and got a good name on my record. That's mm -hmm. what he thought. Tried to get get him in quickly. Was you know? a, looking from the outside, that you'd think it was a bit of liberty. Tyson just coming back after three years, two warm up fights, and then to fight one of the best knockout artists, man, in the boxing game. Like he was no mug. Do you know what I mean? But then, what was your training when they get took that fight? What were you thinking? Did you ever try and stop that? Or were you thinking? Yeah, I, I openly said like, this is a step too early. Yeah, like you're just diminishing the percentages and making it closer than what it needs to be and he was adamant that he wants to do it you know this is this is what I want to do and do you think that's the, the addiction habit as well where not we spoke you know try to constantly prove people wrong but he built his self-belief that he can run through a wall yeah he probably would that do you think that's what he needs though that the one that nobody thinks he could win because he's just came back to then make him progress and kick on and prove people wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Because right. that's a bit psychotic yeah. to then go, well, fuck it, I'm going to take the undefeated fighter, knocked out everybody that he's fought, three fights back after a three-year layoff. So in terms of boxing side of things, I thought you're making this a closer fight than it needs to be, a lot more. If you just take your time and have another fight or two, take more so time for your body to recover from the weight loss. Um, but what I will say, in terms of overall, I think it was the best thing that could have happened to him. Not the actual fight and the performance, but the pressure and the, okay, you know, I've got focus on what's ahead of me and, and the job that's coming up. I've got a goal, rather than losing a bit of weight, got this fella that I can box, I know I can beat him, but there was no complete, I need to be 100% focused for this. Whereas going into the Wilder fight, I just think that that really helped his mind. He had a focus, had something he knew he needed to do. It was a bit of pressure on him and made him mentally a lot more stable going into that fight. And then obviously what happened in the fight just turned him into a megastar.